Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Dream, and I'm back today with another video. So, as y'all can tell down below, today we will be trying on Shein Fake Nails and seeing if they are worth the hype, if they are good. Let's just put a little disclaimer out there, y'all. I'm not no professional to nails. I'm no professional to fake nails. None of that. Y'all see my nails right now. I'm usually always bare. I don't do acrylics. I can't remember the last time I did fake nails. If I even have ever used fake nails, it's probably elementary school. So, we are going to see if these are user-friendly and just there for beginners because we don't, we don't know what we're about to get ourselves into today. So, here are the nails that I got from Shein. Um, it does come with all the nails in there, but I did buy this a couple months ago, so I went through just to check and make sure that they were going to fit my nails before buying them, just so I knew if I needed to return or not. But this is what the package looks like. It just says YTJ um, something nail. I'm not really sure what that says. And then salon quality, love the nails. It says come to 24 in it. Says the name on the side right there. Says the name on the side over there as well. And then I guess just like instructions on how you're supposed to put them on. So let's go ahead and open these so y'all can see what they look like just a little bit more. Um, they're just like a little nude almond shape. So you see those are like all the extras in there, but I already separated them out for my nails. Okay, y'all, sorry, we're back. I forgot I didn't even turn the lights on. But, all right, so this is what the nails look like. It's kind of like a little nice nude-ish sort of color, almond shape. Um, not too long, not too short, just like, it's just, it's okay. And then it also came with like these little glue tabs in it. But because I'm actually going to be wearing this for an event coming up soon, if they stay on, I did go out and try to get some nail glue. So we're gonna actually be trying that as well and see if that is strong enough to have these last for the weekend. So let's go ahead and start from like little videos and stuff that I saw on like TikTok about how to put fake nails on. I know you have to prep your nails first and you already see because I usually always wear my regular nails, they are pretty long. So I need to go ahead and cut them. This finger just got broke the other day, but I need to go and cut them. And actually you could get this kit from Shein as well. Um, I personally like having these kits because I'm one of those people that like if I have a hangnail, I gotta cut it. I cannot be sitting here all day with a hangnail. It will actually get on my nerves. So I like buying these little kits. So I'm just gonna go through and just start with cutting my nails so they can be shorter and fit under these fake nails. Okay, y'all, so now we are done cutting our nails. They are a little bit shorter. I really hope this works out because I really don't like my wearing my nails as short. But I hope this is short enough to fit under here. So the next thing I saw that they were doing online was to buff the nails out. So I'm going to do that. Well, no, actually, I'm going to use some nail polish remover because I did just put lotion on not too long ago because I didn't want to come on here ashy. So I'm gonna use this because people say you gotta like get the oils and stuff off your fingertips so the glue and all that can apply a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do now. And this is just regular nail polish remover, 100% acetone from Wally World. So now we have stripped all the oils away from nails. I don't know if y'all can tell anymore, but my nails 
are looking a little just right now. So now I'm going to file them because that's what people on TikTok tell me to do. Okay, so now the nails are buffed. If you want to, ew. So yeah, now they are buffed. They're looking a little rough. And then the next thing that I saw people on TikTok doing was they said to buff it, but I do not have the tool to do that because I don't be doing my nails. So we're gonna skip that step, but I do know that they also said to push back your cuticles. So we're gonna do that next. Um, y'all, I do not know if I'm doing this right because, uh, I ain't never had to do this before, so I hope I'm doing the right thing. Okay, so, I just finished pushing back the cuticles. I don't know if I did that right or not, um... But yeah, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying. So now let's get, or I guess now it's finally time to put in the nails, or put on the nails. So basically you will just like open it and find the sizes that fit your fingers. I've already done that to save us some time, but all of these sizes should fit me. So I shouldn't have a problem. Now I'm just going in to double check and make sure that these are in fact the right sizes. And this is also the time where I guess nobody said this online, but I think this would also be a good time to check and ensure that um, that you actually cut your nails short enough. Okay, so the glue that I am deciding to use is this brand. It's called Bring the Salon Home Kiss Brush on Nail Glue. Um, no air bubbles, brushes evenly, bonds in seconds, applies like polish. Um, I got it just because I thought it would be easy. I mean, like, I'm new to all of this, so I thought this would be, like, something easy compared to what, like, other people be using. And I feel, I feel like I saw this on TikTok, too, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. The directions on here say to brush a thin, even layer of the glue onto the natural nail and also onto the tip. Or on, not, not on the tip, but on the, on the fake nail. I think I'm gonna start with this hand. And I'm gonna start with the pinky. So I'm just going to brush it on, like they said. And then I'm going to put some on the bottom part. And now, let's place it on and hold it down. Okay, it is in fact on there. Ah, uh, y'all, I just did the first nail. Don't play with your girl. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't play with your girl, she is not one of them. Okay, so the first nail is on. And now let's get to popping.
Okay, one hand down, another to go. Okay, y'all, well, we got both hands on, and that didn't even take that long at all. This is what they look like. Um, So far, I don't want to mess with too much because I literally just, like y'all just saw, I just put the glue on, but they do feel okay. Um, I will say, compared to the last time I had acrylics, which is senior prom, um these are pretty thin because i mean like of course when you're getting acrylics they're gonna you know build it up and all that sort of stuff but i see but yeah these are pretty thin but i mean they only cost maybe like three four dollars if even from Shein. so like, you really can't expect that much from it um but so far i like them i like the color i do think i'm gonna have to go back in and like file the like i'm trying to show y'all um, but some of the nails like aren't necessarily fully straight because it has like those tabs on it right there So I might try to go in and file those off at a later time But I like it. I like the color. I like the length. It's not too long. It's not too short um, But I will be wearing this for like an event this weekend like I said earlier So I will update y'all on how these hold up how they keep up I'm really hoping that they hold up and keep up as they need to but I'm liking it so far. I think it's really cute. I think this is a nice, fast, easy way to like get your nails done without having to like go to the store and spend an arm and a leg, whatever the case may be. So just for y'all again, this is the one that I got, YTJ Nail Salon Quality. They look like this. And um, I put a link down below if they are still available because like I said, I did get this a couple months ago. But if anything, this is the SKU right there so if you put that part that says sb nail art one and all those numbers into shein it should come up and then you'll know if it's still in stock or not this nail kit also came from shein so if you would like to i will i will put this nail kit down in the down in the description box below because i love these like i said I hang nails all that sort of stuff this is my go-to i have one of these in literally every single bag that i own my personal book bag have one on my bedside table, all of that sort of stuff. Um, and then this, of course, just the Kiss Brush On Nail Glue. I mean, it's my first time using it and it, it did treat me pretty well. I didn't really get glue much of anywhere, for real, for real. But this has been me trying on fake nails from Shein. You all should go out and try them yourself if you're just looking for a cute way to get your nails done real quick without having to spend an arm and a leg, or if like you're not too, too, big on like the different designs but they do have nails with designs on so if y'all want me to try some more let me know because i did also buy another pack of these that i'm open to trying on camera for y'all as well but you already know what to do like the video down below if you like this video if you want to see more stuff like it and follow me on instagram so you can see more content come from me because y'all know i'm always on instagram way more than i am on youtube but with that being said if you want to see more content from me on youtube and want to see more things from shein from me make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when another video comes out and oops i forgot if you want to get nails from shein remember that i'm a shein campus ambassador so i will have a code and a link down below in the description box so you can save some money on all your orders at Shein. You know, I'm helping y'all, just saving a little coin. Remember that I love you guys so, so, so much. And my name is Cecilia Drake, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.